All right, so let's see how to access elements from a vector. So I named this vector with a variable name vec. So if I want to access the first element in this vector, the MATLAB syntax for that is vec parenthesis of one, because in MATLAB, indexing starts with one. All right, let's see it in action. So vec of one is going to be seven. If I want to access the third element, which is nine, I would say vec of three. Now, if we want to access like the third, fourth, and fifth elements in a single shot, that is the syntax. Okay, so vec of three colon five is telling MATLAB that, you know, starting from the index three till the index five, give me all the elements. So which is nine, one, and two. Now, let's say I want to access the second and fifth element. The syntax for that is vec of square brackets two comma five. Here is a common mistake that you may make. Vec of parenthesis two comma five is not gonna fetch you the second and fifth elements. We'll see shortly why that is the case. All right, so vec of square brackets two comma five is gonna fetch the second and fifth elements, which are three and two. Let me demonstrate to you that vec of parenthesis two comma five doesn't work, okay? We'll get back to this when we talk about matrix indexing. Now, let's try to modify the elements in a vector. Let me create a vector with values one to 10. Now, if I want to change the first element in this vector to 100, that's how I do it. You can access any element with its index and change it to the value of your choice. Now, let's see how to set multiple elements with a certain value. Here I'm trying to set the second element through fifth element with the value zero. Successfully done. Now let's see how to modify the elements like multiple elements in a single shot with different values. So here I'm selecting elements from four through seven and I'm assigning them different values. Now, one thing you should understand here is that if the dimensions don't match, MATLAB is gonna throw error. Okay, so the dimensions have to match. Now let's move on to matrices. Okay, let's say I have a matrix mat with three rows and four columns. Now let's see the MATLAB syntax to access individual elements in this matrix. So mat of one comma one is going to access the first row and first column element. Mat of one comma three is going to access the first row, third column element. Mat of three comma two is going to access the third row and second column element. So you get the idea. Now, if we want to access multiple elements from a matrix in a single shot, the syntax is a little tricky Basically, you're telling MATLAB, I need rows two to three and columns two to four. So that would be the subregion of that matrix. Uh, let's see that in action. This is how you create a matrix with the values shown earlier. Now let's run through the MATLAB command step by step. Okay, access the first row, first column element, first row, third column element, and then third row, second column element works perfectly fine. Let's try to access the sub matrix, which includes the second and third rows and second through fourth column. Okay, so I was able to access the sub matrix region there. Now let's quickly run through the commands to modify elements in a matrix. So basically you access an element and then you set it to a certain value and MATLAB accepts it. Okay, so you can also set multiple elements in a single shot this way. So here I'm setting all those elements to zero. You could also set multiple elements in a matrix to different values provided that the dimensions match. Okay, I'm gonna show you uh, how it is done. So 
because I'm accessing a, a two by three region in a matrix, you know, I had to do it that way. Uh, if the dimensions don't match, MATLAB is gonna throw an error. 